Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can make your very own Game Pass slash VIP only door. So to get started, let's just make a room that the players are trapped in and only you can only get out if you're a VIP. So let's just make a little box like that. Or actually, we'll do that last. We, we don't even need to do that. Let's just make a wall like about this tall and this thick and then like this long and if we duplicate that or duplicate that whoops and um, rotate it control R or command R then drag it like that into here uh, just like this and that and then if we Select both of them, duplicate, control R, R, and now we have the closed in box. Let's select like this wall and we'll just scale it in here. Duplicate it, move it over here. Then duplicate this, and this will be our VIP only door. So we'll call this VIP only door. And let's just scale this one like out a little and out a little and we'll make the color like red and some transparency and we'll scale it out one more all right so now we have our door like this and if we select everything right now and anchor it so it doesn't fall and then we enter a spawn location here Put it slightly under the ground so that will spawn like right here. Then what you will see is if we play this. We spawn here and we're stuck in this room. If we go to try to knock these walls down, we can't. And we also can't get through this door. Alright, so let's make it so that if we have the VIP game pass, we can go through. So basically what we have to do first is we have to publish the game, so save to Roblox. Uh, I'll say VIP only door, turn team create off, and I'll save this. Now go over to the Roblox tab here, and I am basically going to uh, refresh this page. And click on this and configure experience. And we're going to, actually no, that's not what we want to do. We'll go to the start place and a store and add a pass. Then it should bring us over here and we'll say VIP, uh, choose file, got this shield icon, we'll say VIP, uh, verify upload. And now we have a VIP game pass. I'm just gonna click on this and leave it like this for now. All right, right now we wanna make a button in uh, Starter GUI that will actually allow us to purchase this. So screen GUI, text button, uh, we can make this like a 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. Put this down here, give it some rounded corners with a UI corner. And we can make the background or the text scale to true. The text say by VIP text to surface sans bold, a text color to white, and our background color, I think we'll do like a nice red. Alright, cool. So we have our button here, and if we insert a local script in here, what we should be able to do is local MPS is equal to game colon get service marketplace service, local button is equal to script.parent, have our connections, say button dot mouse button on click colon connect the function and we want to say mps colon uh, pro prompt product purchase and we need to also get the player service up here so local players you could game colon get service players move this up here add a comment for services and for variables and here we'll have local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. So here we'll say we'll pass in the player. 
we'll pass in the product ID, which we have to copy from here, paste it there, um, and equip if purchased. No. Also, this should be prompt game pass purchase. Prompt game pass purchase. All right. Cool. So now, um, if we play this game, you should see we still don't we still can't go through the door because we haven't made that yet. But if we click this, it says, "Hey, are you already on this item? Your account has not been charged." But if I go over here uh, and delete from inventory, now I don't own it, and I have to also make this for sale. So item for sale, yes. Just put the price as one. Or let's just put it at five. Actually, we'll do twenty-five. All right, and let's just go. Let's just go back. All right. If we refresh, price twenty-five. All right. So now, if we go ahead and click play, then just click this, and the third party. All right. So forgot about this. Roblox has is pretty strict. We have to go to security and allow third party sales. Cool. All right, so that should be working. That should be prompting us. So now let's actually make the game pass do something. Now, actually, we want to do this in a local script as well, or actually, no, we don't. We want to make two scripts, one or two scripts in a remote event in the replicated storage at a remote event and call it VIP door disable. Then in here, or whoops, not a screen GUI, in starter GUI, insert a local script. And in for the local script, do local RS is equal to game cone get service replicated storage. And our local disable door is going to be equal to RS dot VIP door disable. Say disable door dot on client event cone connect function. We'll also say local say local players local players is equal to game colon get service players and we'll have our local player equal to players dot local player here we'll say um actually we don't even need this what am I doing basically all we have to do is game dot workspace dot vip only door dot can collide is equal to false and since this is a local script it'll only do it for our player so that the other player still can't go through all right so now in this script here uh basically yeah we'll do something all right so in here the first thing we want to do is make a function to check if player owns game pass our player owns game pass player comma game pass id and this is just going to be a simple p call function and this is going to be mps and we'll have a local has pass up here and we'll return has pass up here we will have local mps is equal to game cone get service marketplace service this will be player dot user ID and this will be game pass ID uh, with a lowercase nice and a lowercase p all right cool so now this function will be able to tell if we have a game pass so yeah what we want to do is get another service so local players is equal to game calling game calling get service players so player or local function on player added player will say uh, local has pass is going to be equal to player owns game pass player player and our game pass ID will be this right here pass that in right there and cool say so if has pass then and we got to get our local rs equal game cone get service replicated storage and our local uh disable disable door equal to rs dot vip door disable this will be our variables 
these will be our functions these will be our services services and down here we will have our connections all right so here we'll say players dot player added colon connect on player added then in here what we will do is say if has passed then we want to disable door on fire client with our player okay so that should work if we already have the game pass when we join but here what we also need to do is like actually make it so that we can go through it without having to rejoin so if we do mps dot game game that prompt game pass purchase finished colon connect on game pass purchase say so, so this function as it says is local function on game on game pass all right let's just copy this takes in the player the game pass game pass id the in the was purchased so was purchased say if was purchased um, and if game pass id is equal to this then we want to do this all right cool so now everything should be working and if we go ahead and play this game we load all right we're here we can't go through here we click this button would you like to buy VIP this test purchase your account will not be charged yeah sure buy it and now we still can't go through it but now we can just have to take a second to update there all right, so now let's test this with two players to, to make sure that only the player that bought this can go through. So let's save this and publish, because why not? And then start a local server with two players. All right, so here we are in the game, and as you can see, I can't go through the door on this account. I can't go through the door on that account or on this one. Um, and now if I click buy VIP, this is test purchase, yeah, buy it, purchase succeeded. And now I go and I could walk through it while on this one I still can't. Even if he's standing there, I still can't. I just can't. Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and really motivates me to keep making more content for you guys. And other than that guys, see you in the next one. Bye.